Hello, ghost hunters! We got a sneak peek at the coming progression update in Phasmophobia, so let's take a look. The main thing I hear from players about the coming update is about the level reset. Let's be clear, you will lose all of your levels. But so will everyone else, and in exchange for this, you'll receive Prestige Level 1, which means all things available to you in the game now will still be available. You won't be unlocking difficulties or maps again, as you've already done that. It does sound like each Prestige Level has its own badge, so you'll be receiving the Prestige Level 1 badge as well. But here's where things get interesting. According to the developers, when this update comes out, you'll have one chance to create a badge for your character that will forever immortalize the level you earned before the wipe. How this will look is dependent on your pre-wipe level. These examples are provided, but keep in mind that these are works in progress and may change. What's even more interesting is that the sneak peek says the badge will be displayed on your character's arm. In other words, it won't be a badge you can select on the board. At least, I don't think so. You may have noticed in your lobby that these extra equipment that we can't currently use keep showing up. These are not just for looks, these will eventually be part of the game. For this sneak peek, we will be focusing on the DOTS projector. With Progression 2.0, we will be getting a completely reworked DOTS projector with three different tiers. But let's talk about how it's reworked first. Currently, the DOTS can take some time to give you its evidence because it requires the ghost to interact with the DOTS projector. When this happens, you see an image of the ghost running through the dots. But as this is not the actual ghost running through the dots, it is possible to see this happen twice at the same time if you have two projectors, or even during a hunt, as they also have an internal timer in case the ghost doesn't interact with it. With the progression update, when you see the ghost in the dots, this will be the actual ghost. This means tracking your ghost position will be more useful in helping you find that dots evidence. Ghosts with DOTS evidence can now enter a short DOTS state when wandering, where they are temporarily visible with infrared light. During this time, they will wander towards the nearest player or to a random spot in the room, if it's empty, before disappearing. Okay, so how does this work with the different tiers of DOTS equipment? At Tier 1, it will look something like this. Your DOTS projector will be handheld and more like a laser grid pin. The downside to this is that it is low light intensity and short range, but if you're certain you know where your ghost is, it may be easier to spot it with this item. At Tier 2, it is the same as our current DOTS projector. It is placeable and emits an average size sphere of light. You will be able to encourage the ghost to walk through the DOTS by standing nearby. At Tier 3, it is also a placeable projector, but will cover a much larger area and has much higher light intensity. This projector will scan large areas with a wide beam of light. Different players will be able to bring different tiers of equipment, so you can use any or all tiers of the equipment on the same hunt. Because I'm certain many of you will ask, when is Progression 2.0 coming? I can say that I do not know. Based on my experience and comments from developers, I'd guess we won't see it until June at the earliest. So if you're trying to earn a certain badge before the wipe happens, you've got a bit of time to earn your levels. I also would speculate that we'll see a new map with this update and possibly new ghost models, as I do know these are coming sometime in the future. What are you most looking forward to with the progression update? Are you excited for the level wipe or are you dreading it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting!